In this video, I wanna share with you five of my favorite WordPress YouTubers. If you've got a WordPress website, which you probably have if you're watching my channel, then you need to go check these guys out. Let's go. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Hope you're all well. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you five of my favorite WordPress YouTubers. Now, before we get to them, I just wanna quickly say, if you're not already subscribed, you can do so by clicking on the button below. Make sure you click the bell, then you won't miss out on any of my uploads. I do try and upload every single week. You should also go and check out wpeagle.com. Over there, you'll find loads of WordPress stuff, along with WP Eagle merch, including t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, and mugs. But anyway, I think that's enough self-promotion from me. Let's jump straight into my five favorite WordPress YouTubers. So the first channel I wanna share with you today is Daryl Wilson. Now I'm sure a number of you are familiar with his channel. It's pretty popular with over 100,000 subscribers. Now Daryl is always pushing content up, although I will say I think he's about to go traveling and take a break, so content uploads may slow down. However, I wouldn't worry about that because there is a ton of content on his channel already for you to go and enjoy. Now, Daryl's channel covers a wide range of WordPress topics, but he's particularly interested in the Divi theme. So if that's something that you're running, then you're gonna definitely wanna check out his Divi videos. He's also got loads of the full length tutorial videos where he takes you through creating a website from start to finish. I really don't know how he gets so many out because these videos take ages to make, but he's got loads and he covers, you know, all sorts of different websites. So if you're looking to create a membership site or a booking website or an e-commerce website, he's got all of that covered. So yeah, his full length tutorials are some of the best. They are long, but they're very, very detailed, very easy to follow. And by the end of it, yeah, you'll create a great website. Now, if you've only got time to check out one of Daryl's videos today, I suggest you check out the one where he purchases a website from Fiverr for just a hundred bucks. Uh, I think you'll be surprised how well that actually turns out. So yeah, do go check that out. It's a great example of one of Daryl's pieces of content. By the way, you'll find links to everything that I mention, all the channels and all the videos in the description below this video that you're watching right now. Now the next YouTuber that I want to introduce you to is Ferdy. And I'm not actually gonna say his surname because I don't think I can pronounce it. He says it so fast in his videos, I don't always catch it. I think it's Koppershik, Koppershnik, Koppershnik. Anyway, let's just call him Ferdy as we go forward. He is a great guy, he's over in Holland. I've had a few chats with him on Skype. And his channel is all around WordPress, but it's got a predominantly Elementor theme to it. Now I'd go as far as to say that Ferdy is probably the leading Elementor expert on YouTube. So if your site's running the Elementor page builder, which it probably should be because Elementor is really, really good, then Ferdy's channel is definitely gonna be one you wanna check out. Now Ferdy's another YouTuber who's far more productive than me. He uploads content, I don't know, pretty much daily. He's always seems to have a new video on the go. So yeah, get over there, there is loads to get stuck in with. And yeah, if you wanna learn about Elementor, Ferdy's channel is the place to be. Another reason why I love Ferdy's channel is his videos are very professionally created. He's got a green screen going on and he's using Adobe Premiere Pro, I think. And yeah, it just, they look really professional. Now, if you've only got time for one of Ferdy's videos today, I suggest you check out the Elementor video where he's creating pop-ups with Elementor Pro. This is a brand new feature, only recently added to Elementor, and it replaces things like Optin Monster uh, and plugins like that that we used to use to uh, show a pop-up. And of course that pop-up can be used for anything. Maybe you wanna build your MailChimp list, or you wanna encourage someone to get in touch with you, or you wanna share your social media profiles, pretty much anything you want. And you can now do it within Elementor, so that saves you money, saves you time. And I say ferdy has got a great tutorial on how you can do that. The next channel is WP Crafter, which is by a guy called Adam, who I'm afraid I've not yet had the pleasure of speaking with uh, personally, but I do watch his channel and his videos are again, 
way more professional than mine and just really useful because he covers a broad range of WordPress topics. Like many of the other WordPress channels, he's got a mix of the short videos with tips and tricks and how to do a specific thing. And he's also got some really long videos. And in fact, some of his videos are extremely long. I think he's got some that are over five hours long. So yeah, that's a mammoth tutorial video and you're gonna need some refreshments if you're gonna watch that in one go. Do go and check Adam out. His videos are really well produced. He tends to upload two or three videos a week and I say they cover a wide range of topics. Sometimes they're just you know news on what's going on in the WordPress community. He could be talking about a new feature, a new plugin, a new theme. Uh, he's kind of always on the cusp of what's going on with WordPress. So certainly want to subscribe to, certainly want to go and take a look at. If you've only got time to watch one of Adam's videos today, then do check out his WordPress Gutenberg time-saving tips and tricks where he takes you through Gutenberg and how to save time and actually just get more done in less time and, and just be more efficient working with the uh, slightly clunky, I'd say, Gutenberg editor. Go check it out. Again, you'll find a link in the description. Fourth channel I wanna share with you today is by a guy called Paul. It's called WP Tuts. And the reason why I like this channel is that Paul gets straight to the point no messing about, no frills. His videos literally just deliver whatever they say they're gonna deliver. His videos are purely screen grabs. I've not seen one with his face in it. There may be one, but I have not seen it. He just literally gets straight on the computer and just shows you whatever it is you need to know. So if you're like a straight talker and you don't want any frills and you just you know want the information, then Paul's channel is one of the best for that. Paul's videos tend to be on the shorter side, you know, just kind of tips on how to do a specific thing. Although he does have a few of the full length tutorial videos, um, but not anywhere to the level like Daryl does, like I mentioned earlier, who seems to just be able to upload one every single week. If you've only got time to watch one of Paul's videos today, then I suggest you take a look at one of his most recent videos where he explores some of the new motion effects that are coming uh, into Elementor. They're currently in beta testing, but he takes you through them, explains them all, and yeah, they look pretty cool and certainly a great way to get a little bit more vibrancy on your website if you're using the Elementor plugin. Final channel that I wanna share with you today is WP Learning Lab. The channel is by a guy called Bjorn, who I do know personally, and we've had a good chat on Skype before. He's been creating YouTube videos for quite some time and his channel is very well established. Those videos cover a wide range of WordPress topics. They're generally the shorter style of video where he just you know, addresses a specific uh, plugin or theme or feature or problem. Uh, I don't think he's got too many of the super long, you know, how to make a website type videos, but you know, if you need help with a particular issue, then you're probably gonna find a solution on Bjorn's channel. Now his channel's not entirely about WordPress. He does cover some complimentary things, and that leads me on to my recommended video, if you've only got time to watch one of Bjorn's videos today. And that is the one where he shares a whole load of resources where you can get hold of some royalty-free video. It's obviously super useful, as you can use that royalty-free video to put something together for your site, add it to your content, make your content better, and yeah, you'd have to worry about paying for it. So do go check out WP Learning Labs by Bjorn. He's a really nice guy. I think you're gonna really like his channel. So that brings me to the end of my top five favorite WordPress YouTubers. We'd love to know which WordPress YouTubers you like to watch. Do leave me a comment below. I do my best to reply to as many comments as I possibly can. If you're not already subscribed, you can do so by clicking on the eagle. Uh, why not check out my blog channel by clicking on my face. And there's a couple more videos there chosen specially for you. I hope you enjoy them. Until next time, bye for now.